Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hello everyone, in this video I am out in the field with a new Versatile 520 tractor sold by HJV Equipment out of Chesnick, Michigan. In this video, this 520 Versatile is pulling a sunflower disc chisel. They're working up this field, it's just a little bit wet in places, but anyways, got some good shots of this tractor and chisel plow in action. I recently posted a video from this very same farm as they were chopping high moisture ear corn with their two Kloss Jaguar forage harvesters, both with ear corn headers on them. One was a Model 970, one was a 990. If you've not seen that video, I'll put the link to it at the end of this one. The farm that I'm at here has a long history of Versatile tractors. They recently just purchased this Versatile 520 at the first of the year. As I said, from HJV Equipment, a Versatile dealer up in Chesapeake, Michigan. They also have a Versatile Delta Track 610. That was hooked to a disc gripper, however, they were not running it today. The Versatile 520 four-wheel drive tractor is the smallest of the Versatile HHT four-wheel drive series. There's a Model 520, a 570, and a 610. All three of these models you can get with either tires like you see here or get in the track version, the Delta track version. Now the tracks are not something you can add on in the field. You have to order them from the factory with wheels or with tracks. These tractors here are powered with the Cummins X15 six cylinder turbocharged diesel engine that is tier four final. The Model 520 replaces the recent Model 500 and going forward in 2022, the 520 has been replaced with the Model 530. Not a lot of big changes on the Model 530 over this one. A little more horsepower. There's some shifting improvements, some valving on the transmission. Hydraulics are laid out a little different. Improved lighting, strobe lighting, and some stuff inside the cab. Also, the biggest change or the most noticeable change you'll see is the Model 530 and the new series 2022 models have a black frame. Now, Versatile has two frame sizes of articulated four-wheel drive tractors. We have the small frame and then the HHT or large frame like you see here. So the small frame can be adapted to do row crop size farming where it'll straddle a 30-inch row. And the small frame four-wheel drives come in a model 405, 430, and 460. A little bit smaller tractor with a little smaller 12-liter Cummins engine and a little smaller CAT transmission. When you jump up into the HHT series like this one here, the 520, 570 and 610. Again, these are powered with a Cummins X15 Tier 4 Final Diesel Engine rated at 520 horsepower with a peak horsepower rating of 572 horsepower. Now, these tractors have a Caterpillar full power shift transmission with 16 forward and 4 reverse speeds and a road speed at 24 mile an hour. You can get these tractors with two different hydraulic setups. You can get standard flow at 53 gallons per minute, or you can get the high flow at 106 gallons per minute. Now you can see it's a little wet right there. He's spinning through the end rows. There is some wet spots in this field. Now this tractor frame size right here, shipped without doles, this tractor weighs in at 42,000 pounds, and this tractor can be ballasted up to 52,000 pounds. So ideally, when you're putting weights on a four-wheel drive tractor, any tractor for that matter, you're shooting for around 100 pounds of weight per horsepower. This tractor has a fuel tank capacity of 343 gallons and a diesel exhaust fluid tank holding 35 gallons. Now you can see a blade mount on the front of this tractor. This farm does have a silage blade on this tractor. They were done chopping corn silage just down to the ear silage. So I have no video of this tractor on the silage pile, but hopefully next year we can get up here and get a video of this thing in action on the bunk. Or better yet, get up here and get a video of this tractor and the Delta track working in the same field together. 
I filmed this video here in early October of 2021. I'm just now getting caught up on my editing or trying to get caught up here in February. Now, we just got done with the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. I had a lot of people come into the Versatile display and talk to me. For those of you that don't know, I work for Versatile. I've worked for Versatile for over 13 years now, and I was in the service department as a traveling service rep for the company. A little over a year ago, I took a job in dealer development, so now I'm pretty much just doing training, product training, and stuff like that with new Versatile dealers throughout the country. I know I've explained this in other videos, but I'm picking up new followers all the time, and a lot of people wonder what I actually do because it seems like I'm all over the country filming different types of tractors. Now, I focus a lot on Versatile because I work with them. That gives me the opportunity to get out with a lot of our customers and so forth as they're running their tractors. But when it comes to YouTube and my spare time, I'll film about any make a tractor out there, as you can tell if you've been following me here on YouTube. I was filming these guys chopping the ear corn silage, and I come over here to this field, got a few shots, and then I'm going to head back over to the other field. As I said, I will put the link to that video at the end of this one.
That's going to wrap up this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Feel free to hit that like button and comment below. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider going down there and hitting that subscribe button. And check back often. There's always new content coming to my YouTube channel. Now, if you want to see more of what I'm doing and what I'm filming, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media.